Hi guys, welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm making uh, two fried chicken tenders for my husband's birthday. And what I did last night was I took a package of chicken tenders and I put salt, pepper, thyme, paprika, hot sauce, and Cajun seasoning and let it marinate in the fridge overnight. You can add whatever spices you like. Uh, we're going to be doing three stages of breading. Flour, wet, and dry, which I'm going to show you how to put those together. So the flour, you just basically take all-purpose flour, add salt, pepper to taste. And for the wet, you use two eggs, which I'm going to just crack and put in there. And then you use a little bit of water and hot sauce to taste. We have a lot of hot sauce. And you just whip that together. And you want to whip it really well. <laughs> That's the wet. Okay. And for the dry, I just use panko breadcrumbs, which is really crunchy. Just put, you know, a decent amount. I'm not really into measuring, but I would say probably that's about a cup and a quarter. Then I use Italian breadcrumbs. About a quarter cup and Parmesan cheese, about a quarter cup. Give that a stir. If you need more breading as you go along, of course, feel free to make more. Okay, get these out of the way. Alright, so now we start breading. We just take one of the tenders. I have my trusty little cooking buddy in here, Nicholas. Say hi, Nicholas. Say hi. Yeah. <laughs> so we do flour, we shake it off, and then we dip it in the wet. Shake it off, put it in the dry, and then with this hand, you just take the crumbs and cover it. Give it a good pat. Make sure all the wet parts are covered. <laughs> and then you put it off to the side. Okay, I'll do one more. Flour. Shake it off. Wet. And dry. Hey, buddy. And you could do the same method with like shrimp, pork tenderloin. And then we put it off to the side. So I'm going to pause for a minute and do the rest. Hi guys, so now I have a skillet on the stove, cast iron skillet, and you make sure that the oil is not more than a little less than halfway up the pan. And for me to see if, it's, it's, if the oil's hot enough, I just I throw a piece of bread in there. If the bread starts frying around, well, it's right. Wow. So I love that frying there it is. So now I have the uh, chicken resting in the fridge. That way the breading stays on there really well. Just start putting 
putting the chicken in there. Always lay it in away from you so you don't get burned. I usually try not to overcrowd the pan, so I just do like three pieces at a time. They're tenderloins, so you just want to fry them for like two minutes per side until they're golden brown. Flip it only once. And we'll be right back. Hi guys, so the last batch is about done. You can tell they're done when they're kind of light and floating a little bit on the top of the oil. And they're golden brown on both sides. Then we usually drain them on a cooling rack on top of paper towel so the grease kind of goes down. Can't wait to eat these. Nicholas, what you doing? Well, we're all done now and we are ready to eat. This is what it looks like. Today we're just having mashed potatoes and corn to go with it. And I made a little sauce for the side. The sauce is just ketchup, pepper, soy sauce, and garlic powder. So that's it. That's fried chicken. See you next time. That's a wrap.